However, some praise that decision, and here in Arizona, the ruling hits a little differently. Arizona was one of nine states that already banned affirmative action. ABC 15's Mark Phillips takes us back to 2010 when that happened, and also hears from Arizona universities on this ruling. In 2010, Arizona voters said yes to Prop 107. It bans consideration of race, ethnicity, or gender in hiring state employees, issuing state contracts, and deciding who gets enrolled in state universities. I think this decision by the Supreme Court is actually a great one because it says state-sanctioned racial discrimination is not okay. Thirteen years ago, State Representative Steve Montenegro led the charge to pass Prop 107. On Thursday, both ASU and the U of A said the Supreme Court decision will have no impact on them. ASU admits all Arizona students who meet the university's admissions requirements. U of A says it's seen significant growth in diverse student enrollment since Prop 107. What I say is that, look, we, we, what we need to do is continue to move forward in understanding that we have to allow people to be themselves and judge people by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva called the Supreme Court ruling devastating and inconsistent with previous court findings, adding, it threatens the progress we've made to provide equal access, opportunity, and diverse learning environments for all students. It may be the case elsewhere, but judging from the responses of Arizona State's universities and Grand Canyon University, Prop 107 has not had that effect here. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.